Welcome to the video. Today we're going to learn some basic programming and electronics with the Microbit Starter Kit from Electfreaks. It's a small box, but there's a lot inside. A compact manual. A box of components. And a series of other components. Let's take a look at all of that now. Manual, small breadboard, crocodile clip cables, USB cable for connecting to the computer, servo motor, battery pack, batteries not included, a series of jumper cables of various lengths, micro bit board adapter, micro bit case, ring of LED lights, motor, fan blade for motor, push switch, variable potentiometer, two sets of resistors, photo sensor, two diodes, I think that's a buzzer or speaker, two tiny push buttons, an RGB LED, two types of transistor, and four sets of colored LEDs. Unfortunately, the kit cannot be used by itself. There's a crucial central component that is missing from the kit, and I didn't realize this when I first purchased it. This is the actual micro bit circuit board itself. This one's made by the BBC. We'll come back to micro bit in a second. It's a little electronic board with an array of lights, a couple of switches, and all sorts of magic built into it. Now I decided to buy my micro bit board from Electfreaks themselves. And boy, did I regret doing that. It took almost 30 days to get that board from China. I recommend you just go to Amazon. It's a couple of dollars more expensive, but you'll get it much faster. So what is this micro bit about? It's an educational foundation designed to inspire young people to become interested in programming and digital electronics. There's a wide range of partners involved in this foundation, and it's all open source. The manual itself is well laid out, with a two-page spread devoted to each experiment, except that they take you straight into experiment one, and don't tell you how to set this up at all. And in fact, you have to go right to the end of the manual where they give you a URL. And it's only when you visit that URL does it tell you how to set up the micro bit and how to program it. When you follow the link in the manual, you get to the Elect Freaks website which is very clearly laid out and professional. They take you through the components of the kit. There's some safety instructions. And over on the left here, they clearly list every lesson for you to click on. And now let's try a couple out. There are 17 lessons in the starter kit and more projects online. And you can follow each project either with the instruction manual or on the web. I'm going to skip straight to lesson three for the purposes of this video. And you can see it lays out the circuit that you need to build with instructions and then gives a programming example. Let's build the circuit. Before you use the micro bit itself, it's a good idea to use the case that came with the starter kit to protect it. You simply insert the micro bit into the case. 
and now the actual electronics are safe. So the first thing we need to do is to take the breadboard and then take the board adapter and place this into the breadboard at one end. For those of you not familiar with these breadboards, this center line separates the two rows of pins from each other. So we'll insert this in here, push down. I find it helps to use the foam so you don't stab your fingers. And once you have that in the breadboard, you can insert the micro bit itself into the top, like so. And now we'll build the circuit for the trim pot. Listen, first thing we need is the trim pot itself, which is basically a variable resistor. And then we wire that up according to the instructions. So power usually goes to the outside rails. So the, the best thing to do is always to connect these two rails together, the two positives together, and the two negatives together. Red is traditionally the color for positive and black for negative. Then we need to connect power from the micro bit itself to the board. The micro bit will be receiving the power over the USB cable. So we connect positive to the three volts pin. And then there's a ground. Connect that to the negative rail. And then we need to wire up the pot itself, the variable resistor. Again, we need the power rails. So the first pin here goes to negative. And the third pin goes to positive. And then all that remains is to connect the center of the variable resistor to the micro bit controller, which according to the instructions goes to pin zero here. So this is the circuit we have built so far. Let's connect the USB to the computer. Now the next thing we need to do is to write the program. The website is very well done for each lesson. It takes you through the components list, explains the purpose of the major electronics component that we're using in the lesson, and then gives a very clear outline of how to wire it up. Is the program here, and to create it, you enter the Microsoft Make code, for which they provide you with a link. And in this editor, the first thing we want to do is do new project. It's very much like the Arduino, in the sense that there's essentially two places you can put your code. You can put the code that will run when the micro bit starts up, and then the code in this forever section that basically loops continuously. So going back to the programming example, so it's basically saying we're going to plot a bar graph by reading the analog pin zero. If you remember, we connected the trim pot to pin zero up to a set of values of 1,023. So we need to reproduce that in the editor. 
Now, it takes a while to figure out where all these things live. If you click, you get a whole sequence of uh, programming instructions. It teaches you in a very graphical building block way. For example, here's the plot bar graph we need. So we drag this into the forever box. Again, going back to the code, plot bar graph of analog read pin P0. So plot bar graph of under pins, analog read pin pin 0. Drag that over here. And then we need to go up to a value of 1023. So this is the extent of the program for lesson three. Now we need to download it to the micro bit. There's two ways to do this. Um, the micro bit has like its own drive, like a thumb drive, where you can download and then copy it to the thumb drive. But there's an easy way to actually link this editor directly to your micro bit for most browsers. And when you come to download that file, it gives you this option here to pair with the web USB. So if you pair this just by following the instructions, you have now connected the two together and now download will download directly straight into the micro bit over the USB cable. The program has been written and downloaded to the micro bit. So let's see what happens when we turn the trim pot. And if you look at these lights up here, they're forming a kind of bar chart. So as I turn this potentiometer down, with less resistance, the bar chart decreases. So you've got a nice little visual indicator. And as I turn the trim pot back up, so the bar chart increases until it reaches its full resistance value. So the screen on the micro bit is giving us a bar chart reading of the resistance of the trim pot. That's pretty cool. So first we're going to build the circuit. We have the micro bit in the breadboard and we have the ring LED, which we're going to power in this lesson, which has three pins. The leftmost pin goes to ground. The next pin goes to positive, and the third pin is the control pin. So ground goes to ground on the micro bit, positive goes to the plus three volts, and we're gonna put the control pin to pin zero. Now we're on the website in lesson 11. And like before, it takes us through the component list, tells us how to wire up the circuit, which we've already done. And for this program, we need an extension library to control the ring LED. And it tells us here how to add that package called NeoPixel. So let's do that now. We go to extensions and search for NeoPixel. Select it and it adds the extension. Now we're ready to write the program.
Now let's download the program. And there you can see that it's rotating the lights on the LED panel. We could very easily go into the program and slow it down by changing the pause. Redownload it. Now you can see I have it set to rotate one LED every half a second. I tried out every lesson in the starter kit and here's my review. But first, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can watch future reviews of STEM kits. Packaging, I give a 4 out of 5. It's a simple, compact cardboard box, and the crucial components are all inside static proof bags, so that's good. Components, I give 5. They're standard electronic components, so there's not much to say there. And providing a plastic case to house the micro bit is a nice touch. Instructions, I only give a 3. The manual was very, very simple. The website was much better with a lot more information, but they didn't give very clear instructions about how to program or where to find things in the programming section. As for the lessons themselves, I give a four out of five. There's a very good introduction to electronic components and programming with a variety of interests like photo sensors, LED rings, transistors, temperature sensors, buzzers, motors. Science is a bit lacking, hence the three. It would have been nice if they'd explained a lot more about how the components work, or for example, how resistance works, and to explain more about how to use the breadboard and why certain things are connected to negative and others to positive. Fun is definitely a five out of five. It's very rewarding to take a blank breadboard, wire up the electronic components, write the program, download it, and then watch the results of everything that you've done. Overall, a solid four out of five. This kit's definitely worth buying, and once you have the micro bit, there's a lot more you can do with it if you go to the Microbit website and look at the other projects there. This is a great introduction to electronics and programming and basically is an Arduino for kids. Hope you enjoyed the video. See you next time.